elimination. Uh, so, hi students. Hello. Good evening, sir. Yeah, good, good evening. Sir. Yeah, please. So, last class, we are done with chapter mensuration. I hope everyone of you attend your test. Sir, I was not free this weekend, sir. I will try to rewrite it, sir, if I have the time. Because I also okay. have exams from this week, sir. Okay, fine. Okay. Oh, sir, I'm not, sir. Sorry, Zubair? Sir, I went out, sir, so I couldn't finish the test. Okay, so overall you have... Uh... So overall, you have uh, 10 questions. OK. So these 10 questions are, uh, I hope uh, everyone of you have so much of flat in what to do this question. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. OK. Uh, so most of the questions we discussed in the class. So any doubt in first question? No, sir. No, sir. So it's a direct formula question. What is the area of trapezium? Half into height. Sir, half into height into A plus B. So what is A and what is B here? So these so, are so the lengths of parallel sides. So lengths of the parallel sides. Correct. So if you do this, so first check with the this uh, measurement re, uh, units so everything is in centimeter so it is given as two parallel parallel sides are uh, what 12 centimeter one and 20 centimeter so if 12 centimeter 20 centimeter and then the distance between them is given as so if you see a trapezium so these are the two parallel sides and here if you see the distance between them is the, them in the sense parallel sides. So this is H is equal to 15 centimeters and this is 20 and this is 12. So you know that half is equal to 20 plus 12 is 32 into 15. So two 16s here. So 16 into 15 
once you calculate, you'll be getting the answer. So any doubt sir, in this? Centimeter square, sir. Sorry. Sir, two forty centimeter square. Okay, fine. Two forty centimeter square. One twenty, sir. One twenty. So if you calculate here. Sir, two forty, sir. So fifteen to sixty. If I one fifty plus ninety, uh, that will be equal to two forty. Two forty, sir. So two forty is the answer for this. So any doubt in this? No, uh, sir. Okay, fine. Uh, next, moving on to other questions. Sir, the second question I didn't understand how to do, sir. Yeah, we are about to discuss the question. Don't worry. Just a minute. Uh, Actually, I'm saving the file uh, so that I can. I'm Now you can see my screen. Yes, sir. Yes, okay. sir. Okay, fine. Yes. So here, if you see, find the height of the cuboid with a base area of 180 centimeters square and a volume of 900 centimeter cube. What is volume of a cuboid? So base area and height. So length into breadth into height. What is uh, length into breadth here? That is base. So that is 180 centimeters. Sir. Yes, sir, base area. So check here. So this, if this is cuboid, I we also discussed this problem. Uh, one kind of problem uh, where uh, we said base and top are uh, covered and rest all the figures, rest all the surfaces are not covered. So please calculate, it, uh, calculate the total paint required to cover base and top. So there I explained you what exactly base is meant by. So this is base and this is top. So this is called as top and this is called as base. So if you check further, they, they are asking cuboid is nothing but volume is equal to length into breadth into height. Height is... Uh, uh, sorry, height we supposed to find out. Length and breadth is given and also volume is given. Length and breadth is given in the form of what? Base area. Base 
area. So if you further check here, what are the details given here? Base area is 180 centimeters square. So if I substitute here, 180 centimeters square into H, and if I further substitute the value, what is volume? 900 here. So 900. So this, this will get canceled. 18 ones, 18 fives. So H is equal to five centimeter. So Zubair, uh, is this doubt clarified? Yes, yes. Okay. So let's move on to another question. Uh, that is a uh, third question. So a square and a rectangle have the same perimeter. So this is a square. What is the perimeter of a square? That it's is into... A. Yeah, if, a side. if a side of square is A, if I walk from this point, I just walking from this point, traveling along all the boundaries of a square and again reaching this point. So how much distance traveled by me is A from here to here, then from here to here another plus A, and from here to here it's another A, and from here to here it's another A. So overall it is how much? 4A. So this is nothing but what? Perimeter of a square. So they asked perimeter of a square and what is what is the perimeter of a rectangle then? So that 2L plus B. So 2L plus B. So perimeter of a rectangle is 2, 2 into L plus B. So 2 into L plus B. They are saying what the what exactly is mentioned in the question. What exactly it mentioned in the question? Please tell. Sir, it's saying that the the perimeter of square and rectangle are same, sir. So it is saying that perimeter of square and rectangle are same. So now what I will and again it is given as if the side of the square is 60 centimeter and the length of the rectangle is 80 centimeter. Calculate the area of the rectangle they are asking. So first of all, our ultimate goal is 4A is equal to 2 into L plus B. This is as given in the question. So from question, we know that four A like perimeters are same. Okay. Perimeters are same. One more thing given in the question is if the side of this square is 60 centimeter. So I already told you 4 into 60 is equal to length. Another thing is given in the length of the rectangle. See here, length of the rectangle is given as 80 centimeter. So 2 into 80 plus B. So how we will find out area of the rectangle? What is area of the rectangle? Area of rectangle is nothing but length into breadth. Yes or not? Yes, sir. So length is given as 80. Oh. Breadth, if, if we get the breadth, then only we will find out what is area. Yes or sir. not? So yes, if sir. You, so if you see here, so if you see here, 240 is equal to 240 is equal to 2 into 80 plus B. So if I further uh, do this, 240 is equal to 160 plus B. So if B is equal to, so if I transpose this towards left hand side, 240 minus 160. So B is equal to 80 I got. Correct. 
Is everyone getting my point? Yes, sir. So, if I further do this, area of rectangle is equal to it into it. So, that, that will ultimately be equal to what? Square. So, it into it is 6400 centimeters. Any doubt in this? Any doubt in no. this? No, sir. Sir, but rectangles are how can length and breadth both be same, sir? Actually, yeah, actually the thing here, what exactly it is mentioned here is calculate the area of the rectangle. Sir, actually, they the ask area of rectangle, right, sir. Sorry? They ask the area Sorry. of rectangle. Ah, yes, you are saying something? Sir, they asked their area of rectangle, right? Yes. What is area of rectangle? Length into breadth, right? Yes, sir. So, length into breadth is equal to uh, how much? You got uh, what is what you got as a uh, breadth of the rectangle. Sir, I got uh, one minute, sir. Sir, I got the breadth as 40 centimeters, sir. You got breadth as 40? Yes, sir, because if we means substitute the values, it's coming as 40 only. No, sir, maybe he forgot to multiply 2 into 18, sir, while doing a... If the side of the square is 40, if the side of the square is given as 60, and the length, is, length of the rectangle is given as 80. So they said perimeters are same. So 4 into 60 is equal to 2 into 80 is 160 plus B. So 240 minus 160, how much you are getting? Sir, 2B, right, sir? Sorry? It should be 2B. Yes, yes, it should, it should be 2B. Yes. Sir. So if you see here, 240 minus 160 is equal to 2B. So 80 is equal to 2B. So, sure, so you will be getting 40. Okay. So length into breadth is area. So length sure. is how much? Uh, length is already given as 80 into 40. So 3200 3, centimeters square. So I hope everyone of you got this. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. First, second also done, third also done. Fourth problem we discussed in the last class, that is uh, Friday's class we discussed. Instead of uh, cylinder, lawn, lawn mover I gave there as cylinder. How many of you remember the problem which we discussed? Yes, sir. We did road roller, sir. Road roller, right? Yes, sir. Just I changed name into a lawn mover. And same readings I gave. Yes, sir. And I told yes, you to calculate the area of the field. Same answer you will get. Yes, sir. Sahiti, yes, what's your doubt? Sahiti, yes, what's your doubt? You raised your hand, right? No, sir, nothing, sir. Nothing, okay, fine. Uh, next, <laughs> the area of rhombus is 16 centimeters square and the length of one of its diagonal is 4 centimeter. Find the length of this other diagonal. Find the length of the other diagonal. So what's the answer for this? How many? Uh, so what is the formula for area of rhombus? We already sir. discussed. Sir, sir, half, sir. Into sir. 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 half into D1 plus D2. Half into? D1 into D2. D1 D2, sir. D1 D2, right? Yes. So yes, area sir. is given as how much here? Sir, D16, sir. 
So half into D1 is 4. Four and D2. And D2. So here, 2. So what is the answer here? 8. eight. Yes, sir. That is a centimeter. Next. From a circular, so fifth also done. So next, sixth question. From a circular sheet of radius 4 centimeter, a circle of radius 3 centimeter is cut out. Calculate the area of remaining sheet they ask. Sir, 21.98 centimeters. So yeah, first of all, what you have to do from a circular sheet of radius, first you find out the circular sheet of radius 4 centimeter. So first circle, let us circle of radius 4 centimeter. How much you are getting? What is the area of? So let it let this be area 1. So area 1 is equal to pi r square. So that will be 16 pi. Any doubt in this? Any doubt in this? No, sir. Next, what I am doing, I am finding out the area of a radi uh, circle of radius 3 centimeter. So radius R2 of second circle, that is 3 centimeter. So area, let us let I give a name for this area 2. So pi R square, R2 square, this is R1 square. So that would be 9 pi. Any confusion in this? So now yes. what they're now what they are telling from a circular sheet of radius. 4 centimeter, a circle of radius 3 centimeter is cut out. Calculate the remaining area of the, sorry, calculate the area of the remaining sheet they are asking. So from which should I subtract which? So remaining area can be calculated by subtracting 16 pi minus 9 pi. Do I get remaining area or not? Yes, sir. So that would be 16 pi minus 9 pi. So that would be how much? Sir, we can take pi as common. Okay. 7 pi. So, further what I will do here now, 7 into pi is how much? 22 by 7. 7, 7 will get cancelled. So, my answer is what? Area of the remaining sheet is what here? 22, sir. 22 centimeter square. So my mom gave a simple formula like for this. That not a type of formula. Yes, what's that? So if we the take one? the bigger circle as capital R, it's radius yes, my, capital yes. R. So what you are telling is pi into R square minus R square. Yes. This sir. is the formula. You can follow that, no issues. This is a simple way of approach. So so I'm going conceptual wise. Instead of doing problem through a formula wise, I'm doing it. Conceptual wise. Why well, anything yeah. is simple. So they will give usually in this way. This is the center. This is of big uh, radius and this is of small radius. So tell they will tell you to find out the area of this. It can be anything. Just go formula wise or problem wise. It's up to you or conceptual wise. So any doubt in this question? Yes, if someone is asking something. Sir, I I actually took the pi as 3.14 so that it will be so used. Most of the cases, I know you people are very much confused with what to take. 3.14 is, please neglect this. Always go with 2 by 7, 22 by 7 only. Please do this. Only in very, why? Because decimal cases, maximum cases, you please ignore this. Whenever it is required only, you please take decimal. Maximum you go with this. Don't make uh, your solving part complicated. So if I just now what I did, 16 pi. If I directly multiply 16 into 3.14 or 22 by 7, I will obviously get make this into a complicated one. And I will waste some, I will invest some time here in solving it. Instead Sense. of doing that, yes. Sir, I did like this, sir. No worries. Uh, see, eventually you will develop the solving skills. Don't worry in, uh, for that. Uh, for, okay. As of now, you know how to solve 16 into 
22 by 7 some student might solve 16 yes. into 3.14 some student might solve but go with simple simple calculation like now what i did okay yes sir Choose but it's still don't... not the same answer, sir. Twenty-two, sir. Yeah, that that turns out to be that turns out to be same answer. But ultimate is you should also save your time, right? In examination, you will be having only one hour or half an hour for a particular test. At that moment, you, have, you should also save your time, right? Yes, Concept, sir. Everybody knows how to solve, but solving in the time limit of exam is important. You have to also answer another questions, right? Yes, sir. So next question. Uh, if you see here, sixth is done, fifth is done. Next, a go down in the form of 60 meter, 40 meter, 30 meter. So this problem, uh, when why I gave you is when when I told you to uh, on Friday's class when, when we are solving such kind of problem, you people ask sir which one is length, which one is breadth, and which one is height. Uh, many people asked what I told you that at that moment. It will be in always order. Order. The length into yes. breadth into height. Okay. So for that reason, I gave you this problem. So now you people tell me how many cuboidal boxes can be sorted, sorry, can be stored in it if the volume of one box is 0.8. So you for this, so just a simple brain you have to use. What is the technique we have to use here. First of all, you need to calculate the complete, that is total volume of this cuboid, which measures 60 by 40 by 30. So usually how we pronounce this as, how we read it out this as not 60 into 40 into 30. We read it out as 60 by 40 by 30. If meter is given as unit, you need to read it out as 60 meter by 40 meter by 30. So these are the dimensions, how you read it out. So now what I will be doing is volume is equal to 60 into 40 into 30. So this is a total volume of cuboid. Okay. So one, is cubo how many cuboidal box can be stored in in it if the volume of one box so one box is what is the volume of one box 0 0.8 meter cube right so if i want to calculate for if i want to calculate how many box it is stored what i should do 0 0.8 m cube into total number of 0.8 m cube boxes equal to this gives rise to what total volume of cuboid or not yes sir how many of you got this any confusion in this no sir any confusion sahiti zubair uh, gagana charantej nainika no, no sir. sir. Confusion and understanding this is last year here in the class. No, Sai Kartik Reddy, Gautam Krishna, Varshit. So now what I'm doing here is 0 0.8 n cube is equal to let total number of boxes of 8 meter volume cube be x. So that will be 0 0.8 m cube into x is equal to 60 into 40 into 30. Now I am just so I am just transferring this 0 0.8 towards right hand side. So that would be 60 into 40 into 30 by 0 0.8. After calculating how much you are getting? So 90. So, so this will be 10. Anyways, I am removing this decimal. So 8 ones, 8 fives. So 6 fives is uh, how much? 30. 30 uh, and 30 into 3 is 90. So one, two. So one, two, three. So it's ninety thousand. So ninety thousand box you can fill in this cuboid. So how many of you got this answer? Sir, I did sir. Yes, yes Jaranthi. What's your doubt? No, sir. I raised my hand. 
Yes, any doubt in this question? No, sir. Shall I move on to the next question? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Fine. That lawn mower question, everybody uh, got to know what exactly lawn mower, how we solve. So last class, I just told us uh, that as road roller. Similar question I gave just by changing the name. So lawn mower, so if you see what exactly lawn mower is nothing but, so I hope every one of you watch sports, cricket, or football, or uh, what else? Cricket, football, or what, uh, what all games you play in the ground? On the ground. Tennis. Sorry? Tennis. A tennis is a not so big ground, right? So football or well, football and cricket are best examples. So whenever uh, you know, uh, there is rain on the day on the match of on the match day, what exactly they do? They just uh, after once the rain stops, they just move with uh, uh, lawn mover with roller kind of cylinder uh, in their hand onto the field, just to absorb the water from the field and make the level of uh, ground leveling. So how many of you watched actually during the matches? So yeah, that, that's exactly the lawn uh, mover. Okay. Let me show you how exactly lawn. This is actually a machine. Let me show you. Everybody showing machine. Yeah, this one. Okay, so here you can see this. So next question, so shall I, shall I move on to the next question? Yes, sir. This is also similar kind of question we discussed in the class. Uh, a rectangular paper of width 14 centimeter is rolled along its width to form a cylinder of radius 20 centimeter. Find the volume of uh, cylinder. So I also showed you with one paper rolling it. And we discussed in the class also. So what is the volume of cylinder? Sir, pi r square h. Pi r square h. Sir, no need, sir, because we know the circumference, sir. So we can just multiply 14 and 20, sir. Yes, find the volume of the cylinder. No, you can, uh, yeah, you can also do in that way. Okay. Or you can substitute, you can do in, you can also do the here. In this way. So we also discussed as volume of the cylinder. If I roll this paper, it will become a cylinder. Right. So if you see here, cylinder of radius 20 centimeters. So from this, once I roll this, I am moving from this point to this point. So that I, if I attach this cover point to this point, ultimately it will become cylinder, right? So this will two pi r, and this is what width is fourteen. 
So 2 pi r is how much here? Please tell what is the circumference here? 14, sir. How much? 14 centimeters. No, no, no. No, sir. Circumference into 14. So 7, so 2 pi r into bit B. So ultimately, you will get the volume of cylinder. Okay. But here, what you are calculating exactly here? What exactly you are calculating here? Is, is this not a curved surface area? No, sir. We are calculating volume. We are calculating uh, the top and inside parts, right, sir? Yeah. You are eliminating top one. No, this this you are eliminating, this you are eliminating. You are considering 2 pi r into 14. What you are calculating exactly here? What you are calculating? Is it the curved surface area? Yes, sir. Then how could it be a volume of the cylinder? Sir, but in the question they asked the volume, sir. Yes, volume they asked. No, then how you will find out the volume? How will you find out the volume? Please tell. Sir, can I tell? No, I need the answer. We already discussed this. Sir, the width will become the height, right, sir? Width will become? Height, sir. The height. So, the move. Let, 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 so. Yes, sir, the width will become the height, right, sir? Yeah. So, let us... Go to the diagram which I shown you there. Anyways. Okay. So once I do here, what I'll do, you see, if I if I open, if I cut this cylinder along vertically, so ultimately what does it comes out to be a rectangle, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now you people tell me what exact, this is width. Now you people tell me what exactly the volume here is. So they ultimately told us that they only given radius and this, they also given width of the rectangle. Sir, pi r square root, sir. Now you people tell me what is the answer here. Sir, 17,600 17, meter cube. Please calculate and tell me. Sir, 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 sir 17,600 meter cube, sir. Yes, sir. Sir, like when it's normal, it's the width, but when we roll it into a cylinder, it will become the height. Exactly. Right, so when you roll it into a cylinder, it will become... Height. That's the reason why I, I, I drawn this. It will become height. So pi r square into height. Sir, it's 17,600, sir. So ultimately what you are doing from this point, you are rolling, rolling. Ultimately you are rolling from this point. You are rolling 
rolling, 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 and you will join this point, and ultimately you will get what? So this width, you know. So ultimately that width will be h. So pi r square h. So pi r square h is 22 by 7 into r square is 20 into 20 into h. H is how much? 14. So 7 one, 7 twos. So here 44. 22 into 2 is 44. 44 into 2 is 88. 88 into 2 is how much? 17,176 and I have two zeros here. So 17,600 is the answer. Centimeter cube. So any confusion in this? No, sir. No, sir. Everyone from the class, any confusion in this? So that's no, the reason why I gave you. So whenever you are holding uh, a rectangle, Ultimately, your rectangular ka, rectangular ka width will be the height of the cylinder. So we already discussed this with a clear-cut example in the previous classes also. Like drawing in this way. How many of you remember this diagram? I remember, sir. Top, sir, view, I remember. top view, bottom view, and internal surface area view that is curved surface area view this is top view top view in the sense if you look from a top you will only see cylinder circle and from bottom if you see you will only see circle so any doubt in this question so let's move on to the another question that is Rectangular piece of a paper measures 11 centimeter and 4 centimeter. If it is folded without overlapping to make a cylinder of height 4 centimeter, find the volume of the cylinder. They are asking. This is also a similar kind of question, but one trick is required here. What is that? So please think about it. I am giving you two minutes. Sir, can I? I am giving you two minutes. Wait for two minutes. Other even. Uh, uh, I know this question is quite tricky. Uh, you need logical thinking in this. So can you go back to the question, sir? Yeah, sorry. Thank you. Yeah, one more minute left. Done, sir. Done, sir. Okay. Just thinking, uh, the, here two things you get confused with. One is without overlapping. Without sir, overlapping. What, what is the circumference formula, sir? For what? Uh, of a circle. Huh? Of a circle? Sir, you, don't know, you don't know the circumference of a circle? Sir, I forgot, sir. I have so many formulas to remember. Just few minutes back, I wrote that is 2 pi r. This is very bad. You need to do a quick practice on it. 2 pi r. 2 pi r only, right, sir? Like, all of them are a little confusing for me. That's all, sir. No issues. Keep a practice.
So here we discussed. So you can see the question, right? So it's ninth question. So a rectangular pipe, uh, a rectangular piece of paper measures 11 centimeter into 4 centimeter. Uh, can you see here any confusion here? No, sir. Rectangular piece of paper. Already they are saying there is a rectangular piece of paper. That is one is four centimeter. Obviously, length into breadth it will be rectangular piece of paper. So if we can we should read it out as eleven centimeter by four centimeter. So breadth will be small anyways in rectangle. So that is four centimeters. And this is length. Length is how much given it as eleven centimeter. So can I consider this as two pi r? Yes, sir. Can I consider this as 2 pi r? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Here, in the previous questions also, I already clearly mentioned you, uh, mentioned on explanation. See this 2 pi r, and this will be height of your cylinder. Width of the cylinder will be always height of the cylinder. And one thing which is confusion for you people is overlapping, without overlapping. Here, no cases of overlapping in cylinder. Overlapping means if you insert one cylinder over another cylinder, if you take a small radius, suppose this, they, suppose there is a cylinder with bigger radius R, capital R, and there is another cylinder with small radius, small R. So you that small radius uh, uh, cylinder can easily fit into this uh, big circle, uh, big cylinder, right? If I make a two papers, I can easily fit. So that case is called overlapping. So filling the gap of a cylinder with another cylinder is called overlapping. So here there is no plausible cases of overlapping here. So just to confuse you, without overlapping is given. So here if you see, so 2 pi r is equal to 11. Can I write in this way? And height is equal to 4 centimeter. So what is the volume of cylinder ultimately? What is the volume of cylinder? Pi r square h, right? Yes, sir. Pi r square h. So from here, what I will do? I will find out radius. So that would be 2 pi r is equal to 11. So r is equal to 11 by 2 pi. Can I write in this way? Yes, sir. Can I write in this way? Yes, sir. Yes, so sir. Then, then ultimately, R is equal to 11 by 2 into 22 by 7. So that would be equal to 11 by 2 into 22 into 7. Can I write in this way? So 11 ones, 11 twos. So 7 by 4 centimeter. Now what H is, you know H is what? 4 centimeter. Yes or not? So we know what is volume. Volume is equal to pi r square h. So I know 222 by 7, 7 by 4, 7 by 4 into h, that is 4. 7, 7 gets cancelled. 4, 4 will get cancelled. What? And what I am left with? 22 into 7 by 4. Correct. So two elevens, two twos. So that would be equal to two sevens. So three point five. So you can check. So two ones to three point five. So eleven. Sir, yes. You forgot to means eleven seven there seventy seven. Eleven. 
you cancel that uh, two two zar and two eleven zar, sir. You again forgot to multiply eleven seven zar. Where I forgot to multiply? Here. Yes, sir. That's what I did. No, two twos, two elevens, eleven into seven, two ones, two three point fives, eleven into three point five. I'm doing now. Oh, okay. So eleven into three. So I can write this three point five as uh, three plus point five, or I can directly multiply in this way eleven into three point five. So eleven into three point five is nothing but how much I am getting? So why did you mark cut at uh, seven from two again? Which seven? These are all simple calculations. Should I explain? No problem. Okay, yeah. What's your doubt here? So twenty two is uh, divided from four. So we wrote two and eleven. So eleven into seven okay. by two, two you are left with. So two, if I what I'm doing is two sevens. So two three six by one point zero two five ten. So directly I wrote this as two in two ones to three point five. Any doubt you have now? No sir. Very great. So eleven into three point five. So eleven into three point five. How much you are getting? Eleven into thirty five, thirty five, thirty five, three eight five. So ultimately this would be three eight five. So three eight five by ten. That is three thirty eight point five centimeter cube is the answer. Any doubt in this? No sir. Calculation part. Uh, uh, any doubt? You please let me know now. Eleven mm -hmm. into three point five will give you thirty eight point five. Any doubt in this question? No sir. No sir. Anyone from the class? No sir. Okay. Shall we move on to the next question then? No sir. sir. So one minute, sir. I got my calculations gone wrong somewhere. Where you got? So that part I understood, but uh, after the pi r pi r square h, you wrote two into twenty two by I wrote two. That's the only mistake I said. So you want to explain me once once again, like what exactly you were? No, expecting? sir. No, sir. I understood while I'm talking to you. Okay, fine, fine, no issues. Rest all students got to understand this now. Yes. So let's move on to the next question now. The area of a quadrilateral uh, shaped field is two phi eight, sorry, two phi two meter square. Area of quadrilateral. Two phi two meter square. Now the perpendicular drawn, sorry, the perpendicular drop on it from the opposite corners on a diagonal are eight meter and three, uh, eight meter and thirteen meters. Find the length of the diagonal. They are asking. How many of you solve this question? So I, I I will give you one minute. Just think about this question, and we can solve. So some random uh, thing I am drawing that is random thing in a sense quadrilateral I am drawing. So this is A B C D. Okay, and what they said area of quadrilateral is given as two phi two meter square. Anyways, okay, the perpendiculars dropped on it from the opposite corners 
on a diagonal r so diagonal r so anyway for, let me draw first a diagonal connecting two opposites so i hope everyone of you got till this so from this i am dropping a perpendicular you know what is perpendicular yes so what they said drop down it from the opposite corners they said so this is the opposite corner and another opposite corner is this so i am again i am drawing dropping a perpendicular so any confusion till now in understanding the diagram no sir no sir no right so now what they are asking find the length of the diagonal they are asking so how many triangles i do have here how many triangles i do have here sir four sir okay so while we are discussing while we are deriving the area of quadrilateral there we consider two triangles there so here what i will do here now area of a b c d quadrilateral i am writing it as in this way quad as a short form is equal to area of triangle a c sir a uh, sorry a b d plus a b c d can i write in this way okay sir can i write in this way so area of triangle a b d that is this first triangle this one and another triangle is this one a sorry b c d plus area of triangle b c d any confusion till now any confusion till now no sir no right so if you see here what is the common diagonal between these two uh, uh, triangles this is the common diagonal of bd db yes sir bd is the common diagonal no yes or not yes sir Hello? yes sir so now what i am doing here what is the area of triangle abd that is half into what is height here that is this is the height no sir the height will be um, so height will be 8 or 13 sir so this is this will be the height so let let us let us let this be 8 and this be 13 so half into 8 into bd this is the base yes sir similarly area of triangle bcd is half into 13 into bd correct and one yes. more thing here what is the area of quadrilateral is 252 any confusion in understanding how we got this no sir everyone sir, in the class yes sir, sir we can speak uh, half as common right Ah, yeah. Let so eventually we will be developing the solution. No need to get confused. Okay. So here, if you see, two fifty two is equal to half if and BD also if I take common, then I will get eight plus thirteen. Any confusion till now? No, sir. No, sir. So further, what I am doing here, I am sending this two fifty towards. right hand left hand side sorry so that is 252 into 2 will be equal to bd into 8 plus 13 is how much 21 any confusion in this no sir yes please any doubt is yes, someone is asking something no sir so now my biggest question is 252 into 2 is equal to bd into 21 so what they are asking find the length of the diagonal so is bd is not the length of the diagonal sir so it is the length of the diagonal sir so what i am doing i am subjecting bd here that will be equal to 252 into 2 by 21 
Okay. So 21, 252. Let me check. Is there any divisibility possible here? So 21, 1, 21, 42. So if I go here again with 2, 21, 2 is 42. So yes, 252 is divisible by 21. So 21, 1, 21, 12. Any confusion till now? So yes, finally, BD will be equal to 12 into 2. So that will be 24 centimeter. Any, any, any doubt till now? So what will be the length of the diagonal then? So length of the diagonal. Sir, 24 centimeters. 24 centimeters, sir. 24 centimeters. 24 centimeters. So why I gave you this problem is why at the derivation of quadrilateral area, we actually did the same thing there. Let me show you. I don't know how many of you actually copied the notes. See this. See this, what we did there. So just to check with your concepts, I framed this question. So we explained, I explained this derivation on that day. So same thing with I did there, if you see this. Same thing I did there. So I hope everyone of you did very well in the examination. I don't know yes. how many students have been attended the paper, but I got only few question papers, sorry, few answer sheets on my WhatsApp number. I think rest of you people uploaded on Wise app. I should also check, check that. And one more thing. Uh, any doubt from today's 10 problems? No, sir. So, just a moment. So next class, what shall we start? Comparing quantities. Sir, comparing quantities. Let me check your silvers first. Algebraic expressions and identities done? No, sir. But can we start comparing quantities, sir? I don't understand uh, interest, compound interest and stuff. Comparing quantities? Yes, sir. We also have our NPRs coming, right, sir? So I need to study that. Because I study a different syllabus, sir. I study Cambridge. Okay. So again, preparing for Olympiads is a separate task. So if it is done in the Chanakya, it's easy. OK. So let's do with this comparing quantities. Comparing quantities, uh, OK, fine. Okay, let's do, let's go with comparing quantities. Okay. So tomorrow's class will be on com comparing quantities. So I hope uh, everyone have a clear doubt. Uh, no, sorry, no doubt on this chapter. Mensuration. 
Most I also I also gave the notes on uh, WhatsApp. If you have any further doubts on this, please ping me on my WhatsApp number. And any doubt in this ten questions, also please stay here or uh, or else uh, rest people can leave the class. Okay, sir. Thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you.